Hi, welcome to Arty Crafty Alchemy. Today I am going to share with you how I decorate a money box tin. I'm the Arty Crafty Alchemist, let's get started. Today I'm going to be using the Barbershop collection. I got a lot of the Barbershop papers in some of the clearance packs from Kaiser Craft and I've been making stuff for the cottage and they are coming in handy a lot. For some reason this trimmer is not 100% straight so I need to make sure that it is lined up. Now I am going to use this piece but it's just easier for me to cut it off and add it later in case I don't measure this piece of paper correctly. I know the tin is just under four and a quarter high so I will try that and I do have my measurements written down over here. On this scrap of paper because I was making a bunch of these. Height is four and oh dear did I just do that too short? <laughs> four and five eighths and I just did that again. But that's okay remember what I said about doing that bit for it to fit at the bottom? It's gonna be the perfect fit. <laughs> yeah. But generally out of this piece you can get two tins done because the small tins this will wrap around once. I measured it wrong again. <laughs> just under four and five eighths and I cut it just under four and a quarter so it should have gone a little bit higher. Now lengthwise it is ten and five eighths. Now again my trimmer is not straight so if you notice I'm on ten and five eighths there. There is a little gap in there I actually have to lift my paper up and push it towards and you can see now that it's sitting on top otherwise it will not be straight. Now I have taken some red liner tape. This one is the Tessa brand and I have added a strip on here. What I do is I lay it down and then I get my craft knife after I've made sure I've pushed it up there as far as I can go and then I slice up in here to get a nice cut where I need it to be because I can't cut very straight. What I do is I lay this and work out where it needs to be and I hold it in place and I will peel that back and then I will carefully push that down and then I'm going to tightly run this all the way around and push it down so that they meet at the back. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing with the aeroplanes. So now I am running plane around and before I stick this down I'm just going to trim it with my scissors. And this piece of paper is the barbershop beard piece. And I am just running that all the way around. And then the tin is covered so that was easy peasy. Next I have grabbed some collectibles from the barbershop collectibles that I have and I also have a sheet of paper that has cutter parts and it is called barbershop shave and I've tucked all the extra bits in here so there's a bunch more cutter parts in here that I can use at a later date and I've just selected two and two pieces of ephemera that I'm going to use. Now because the tin curves I actually use extra tape to make sure that it stays stuck to the curve and I run the tape in the direction of the curve. That one I'm putting the tape lengthwise for this one I'm going to put it horizontally. Okay that is the back seam there. I'm going to line that up best I can and press it down then I'm going to do the same with the car. For these two I'm going to raise them up a little bit. I have this thinner tape and then I'll add some foam tape behind the moustache face. I'm making sure to use lots of tape so that they stick really well and then I'm just going to add that one on there, push it down so that it curves and I'm going to grab the arrow and I feel like I've misjudged, hang on. Okay, If you make a mistake you can just grab your heat tool <laughs> like I'm going to do and I'll heat this up and reposition it. 
something in the heat helps the tape release much easier and allows you to reposition things. So I am going to move this up here. I forgot I needed to add the arrow and I'm just going to use that line up there to line it up nice and straight. I thought there was something dirty on there but it was part of the paper. Now I can add the little face back on and then I'll peel off the backing to this one and then I'm going to add this one of a kind and there is the decorated tin. I hope you enjoyed this really quick tutorial complete with mess ups. <laughs> it wouldn't be a video without a mess up I don't think. If you did enjoy this video please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to see more content like this and hit the bell notification to know when new videos come out. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.